Lincoln's mother abandoned him in 1947, a couple of years after he was born. His mother, I heard she was Dominican. I always figured his father was white, maybe even not Italian. Not that it mattered. Back then, if you look black, you black. Same as today, I suppose. He stayed at the orphanage until 1958. Well, when did you meet Lincoln Click? 1966. I was running black ops out of Laos on behalf of the CIA. He was loaned out to me via joint CIA DOD task force. He was a quiet boy. Good boy. Two purple hearts, the bronze star, and the distinguished service cross. He served his country with honor and distinction. After the city closed the orphanage, he fell in with Sammy Robinson. Sammy ran the black mob over in Delray Hollow. I can't say I approve, but often colored boys didn't have a lot of options back then. Boys like Lincoln, the ones who've been abandoned, they're always looking for a home. Always looking for a place to belong. I think he thought he'd find it in the army. Thing is, once that's lost, you can never get it back again. When he returned from the war, Lincoln ended back up over at Sammy's. Now Sammy owed the Italian mob a whole lot of money. And he needed Lincoln's help. It's a damn shame what happened. Breaks my heart. Still say this is the craziest goddamn thing I ever heard. Using real money to rob the feds. Well, hell, man, not like this is our cash. This all came from Skeletta. Besides, peanuts compared to what we're gonna haul out of there. Is everything we need to burn? Yeah, that's it. I grab the keys to the truck, then we can get the fuck out of here. Hey, man, grab those keys. Still not sure about leaving him like this. He came through with the truck just like we asked. Even grease his partner to make it look good. But if you got doubts, why take the chance? Mm. All right then, that's that. Goddamn. <laughs> We should get going. You got the key so you can drive. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Take it easy heading to town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. Mm. An old man wanted us to keep one of the guards alive, help throw the feds off the trail. Like you said, I take a chance. Besides, if I learn anything from being over in Nam, someone's willing to flip sides once, they're probably willing to do it a second time. Fuck you in the process. So answer me this. It's the craziest thing you saw over there. You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh? Come on, you gonna answer the question or what? We, uh... 
We on the coast of Quang Nai. Evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran everything. Anyway, we get them onto a medical ship. And this woman walks up. She got a baby in one hand and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp, and the MP stops her, tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape, tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, man, you asked. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some goop getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, God damn. It's not a fault, but not like you think. The conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day, you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day, everything bomb flat. You put people up against the wall, they will do anything to survive. That better have been one delicious fucking pig. Guards at the Missouri probably won't be too keen on you waltzing around with that piece of yours. I'll just leave it under the seat. Time to see if these forged IDs are worth a fuck. to the loading dock. Some of these fellas might get a little uh, rough with the language and... Well, ain't like I've never been called nigger before. I know, but I'm just saying, if I go along with it, ain't nothing personal. The only thing I care about is getting our hands on that money. I say something about being hot. That's when we make our move. All right. Right, here we go. Put your IDs up to the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? 
Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burn room. How much y'all bring in? $238,546. Small bills, mostly. I'll have Miss Gale call up to your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. You need to check that scatter gun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. Buying room's down in the cellar. This way. I ain't seen y'all around these parts before. Y'all's over in Georgia for a while. <sighs> he just got out of the service. Yeah! And my cousin's been trying to get on here for over a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours, got medals falling out of his ass. Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. Sad day when a God-fearing white man can't get a job. They old nigga who staggers in is high on the spot. You bastards better not be playing with each other back there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Christ, look at that. Didn't know y'all held that much gold. Uh, Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here, then it gets sent to Dallas, then it comes back. Uh, it doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. Here we are. Those bags on the table there. Never done this detail before. Figured it'd be bigger. It gets the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck, that's some heat right there. We used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. Here's some guy come around the house trying to switch me over to oil. God, that guy was an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. All right, give me a second. <clears throat> All right, you take care of those guards. Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. I know what the fuck I'm doing. We've been renting now. Called over there last night. Told him I wanted to sell it. I told him he needed to be out in two weeks. And the man, his name's uh, John, starts laying into me, saying the lease gives them the right to a 30 day notice. That's how we're supposed to find a new place in two weeks. So I tell him none of that's my goddamn problem. It's my property, and I'll do with it what I please. And if it brings up that fucking lease again, I'll use it to wipe my ass and make him eat it. Not only that, I know he's friends with a couple of niggas, and they go over there at night and play cards. Told John when they moved in that I wouldn't tolerate n Lincoln, get over here, man. Come on, we need to get this vault open.
Shall kick the hornet's nest this time. Only way we walk out of here is if we get the weapons stored in that armory. Bust the door open. I'll watch our asses. <sighs> My old man gonna shit a brick when he hears about this. Fuck! Fuck! Come on, open! Give me that damn thing. Face way worse than this over in Nam. Little smoke don't mean shit. Stay close to the vault, watch for the drill. I'll deal with these assholes. There he is. Well, Sammy had men all over the place. Now, one of them worked at a cleaner's and stole the uniforms Georgie Marcano and Lincoln Clay wore on the day of the robbery. Another one was a janitor at the Federal Reserve, and he provided a rough layout. The robbery of the Federal Reserve was timed perfectly, and none of it would have been possible without the involvement of Sammy Robinson, Lincoln Clay, and the rest of the black mob. You just come from Vietnam? That's right. I was a Marine in the Pacific. You take it from me. Just because you're home doesn't mean you're back. You understand? People around here, they don't, they don't get it. Never will. Keep your ass out of trouble. I'm late. Got caught up crossing the bridge. Don't worry about it. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for my stepbrother, Lincoln Clay. You seen him? He used to get ticked off if you were even a minute late. Kiss my ass. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> How was the trip? Being how this is the first time in four years and somebody telling me where to go, what to do, or how to do it, it was fucking great. Hmm. <laughs> What's new with the old man? Man, don't even get me started on Pops. He used to pull his head out of his head. Same as ever then. Brother, you have no fucking idea. Damn, Ellis. She's looking good. <laughs> Just like I left her. Man, even I know not to fuck around with your cop. Mm. All right, come on. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> 